So next is really Dynamics 365 and Office 365. Um, you can really see how we've worked really hard on making sure that Dynamics 365 and Office 365 are really working well together. A great example of that is the, the new Outlook client, which lights up really well in the Office uh, 365 Outlook capabilities. Um, there's also the server-to-server -server synchronization pieces um, and the mail synchronization. And then lastly, there's um, the relationship insights, which I've got a couple of slides on towards the end of this deck, assuming we get there. And that's really um, about gaining intelligence about your customer from all the interactions they have with you. And that's about data that's collected on the office graph. And we'll touch on that a little bit later as well. We then have our intelligent angle, which is really around leveraging our Azure machine learning and intelligence capabilities. So there's a whole bunch of things we've got called cognitive services. Um, and these cognitive services uh, are everything from vision to speech and language understanding. And we want to really leverage um, both our cognitive services as well as just our general machine learning capabilities in the Dynamics platform. So we've got a whole bunch of out-of-the-box capabilities that we provided, um, as well as a whole bunch of analytics pieces that can exist as well. So if you look at this under Cortana Intelligence, the stuff that we've got out of the box, we've got the relationship insights we've mentioned around how someone behaves with email. What does that mean about your relationship with them? We've got things like lead scoring and being able to say, what is the, you know, how hot is this lead in order to pass them over to salespeople? We've got next best um, product, so cross-sell and upsell opportunities. I'm not going to read you the rest. There's also some kind of ERP capabilities around cash flow forecasting and product recommendations. And then obviously there's things like the social uh, sentiment analysis and intent analysis, so that if someone tweets something with our social platform, we're able to say the intention of this is to purchase something. The intention of this tweet is to complain. And then based on that, we're able to then move that social post into the right team so that loads and loads of the social posts that are made obviously require no action. But where maybe there is an intention to purchase or complain and it's someone who's got a lot of followers, we can then go and take action so that the social teams that your customers have aren't spending time trawling through social content. They're spending the time on the right pieces that need attention as opposed to just the noise. Um, and that's really what this artificial intelligent and Cortana intelligence suites about it's about optimizing the time we spend um, and the little demo that I'll show you later around bots is exactly the same it's not around replacing human interaction it's about optimizing it um, so this is really exciting and probably an area that I think the largest opportunity lies in um, and I guess this is probably one of the biggest messages to customers and guys like yourselves on the call around investing in getting to cloud because it is only because of the ability to for us to deliver this in the cloud that we're able to do these kind of things if we were still stuck in the world of on-prem there's no ways we'd be able to deliver um, all of these kind of built-in artificial intelligence nor the ability to um, nor the ability to kind of extend it yourselves and really cost effectively so you're able today and as part of the resources that I send out to Steve to forward on to you all um, you'll see there's some resources to get started on machine learning and, and these things, and it's really easy. It doesn't cost you a lot to figure out how to do it, and it doesn't cost customers a lot to um, actually, you know, take advantage of it either. So really encourage you to think about what kind of scenarios you can light up. These are just the horizontal scenarios. There's loads of great scenarios in your verticals that you can think of. Here's some examples around um, that intelligence lighting up in visual graphs. So this is our Power BI capabilities in graphs. Um, and, you know, the great thing about this is it works. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing at Kartik's on-premise thing. It's like I read your mind. Um, but the great thing about this on the Power BI, it works across devices. We're really agnostic these days and appreciate that whatever device is going to get people the best job done. Um, we'll support, so it's not just Windows phones, we'll support it on Android, we'll support it on iOS, uh, and even things like Power Apps go across these different applications, tablets uh, and web browsers as well. So you can be um, confident you can deliver these capabilities to your customers. This intelligence um, platform is really around um, taking not just Dynamics 365, but also all sorts of other pieces of um, data, so IoT, social, the LinkedIn acquisition, which you should be familiar with. I think it was somewhere between 22 and $26 billion we spent on those guys and all the data that we've got, and it's the biggest professional graph in the world. Um, taking Office 365 data, weather data, and so on, 
trying to figure out a little bit of intelligence around that and then drive that to action. And that action is really the bit that's valuable to your customers and yourselves. So um, that's really the focus of what we're trying to trying to figure out.